everyone. Welcome to Garden Fork. I'm Eric Rothschild. It's our show about DIY, cooking, gardening, beekeeping, other fun stuff. How many of these do you have in your garden? 5,000. A bajillion cherry tomatoes, right? So uh, last night we had a couple friends over for dinner. One of them was Bill from the camp. And you know Bill, he's been a couple episodes, uh, notably one of our How to Make Hard Cider episodes. Notably. He is notable. Yeah, he's... You'll know when you see him. But anyway, he gave me this uh, recipe he does, just a quick pasta recipe for cherry tomatoes, which we're going to make today. It's a roasted cherry tomatoes over pasta. You could also serve it over rice or uh, quinoa or something like that as well, right? Couscous. Couscous too, which is actually a pasta. All right, super simple. You want... What kind of cherry tomatoes are those? Yellow. I don't know the name. <laughs> These are from Marty, my neighbor. Thank you, Marty, once again. Thank you, Marty. Uh, they are super sweet. I think the sweeter the better, but if you like the sweet tart thing, that's good as well. So you want a bunch of tomatoes. So we have some peeled garlic here. I want to show you how to peel a garlic, by the way. You take the cloves and you smash it like that. And then the paper peels right off. Well, in a perfect world, it peels right off. And your anger is gone? Yeah. True? Well, I have some pills for that. No, exercise is really good for uh, getting rid of anger and things, by the way. Hi, Moose. Hi, Charlie Bob. Also, when your hands are all garlicky smelling now. You got some magic? Take something that's stainless steel and rinse your hands under water. Just have your hands with the, it could be a stainless steel spoon or whatever, and then your hands don't smell anymore. Powder fresh. I don't know how that works. So we're just going to cut these in half and then a rough chop. You don't want this too small. Watch your fingers. Uh, metal or glass oven proof pan. This is just a small batch we're making, but if you're making it for a bunch of people, you can use a bigger pan. And when you're roasting these, the metal will heat up faster than glass. So keep in mind the cooking time. I learned that. Keep in mind? Yeah, well what I do, is I have a glass one and I have a metal one. And the metal one heated up real quick and the glass <laughs> one takes a lot longer. All right, you don't want this overcrowded like that. You want them all in one. They eat tomatoes. <laughs> Someone has taught them to eat tomatoes and sugar snap peas. And blueberries. And blueberries. And teach them. Alright, so you want this just in one row. You don't want it um, higher than one row. What does that mean? You don't want them all jammed layered. in there. You don't want them layered. We don't want them layered. We want one. Even. We want, Even. We want one layer. Okay. Take our garlic and spread it through there. Now the reason we want the garlic to be in big chunks is because in the oven, mm -hmm. we, want the gar we don't want the garlic to burn. And if it's minced garlic, it will burn. If it's thick, big chunks, it's gonna take longer to cook. And it, it really tastes good. Olive oil. We don't measure, we just glug, okay? Okay, how many glugs? One, two, three, four. These are like circles, not glugs. Okay. We're gonna season this later, all right? But now, put this in a 375 degree oven. Okay? Okay. Now go watch your dogs play. Okay, it's ready. Let's take a look. Whoa, whoa! Ah! Did you catch on fire? No, but I just burned myself. It looks like tomato stew. Cool. See how that kind of 
brown there. A little bit of chopped basil. From the garden. A little bit of chopped parsley from the garden. What also would be really good in this is some black oil cured olives or feta cheese. Some like cubed feta cheese or black oil cured olives chopped up in there after the baking. Not before because it'll melt. We're using a whole wheat pasta. Do you like whole wheat pasta? I do. There's a couple brands that are good. So you have to just kind of find your local brands. But um, whole wheat pasta I think is a lot healthier. And sometimes it, some of them taste like glot, but a couple of them are pretty good. So. It smells sweet. So mix in the parsley and the basil, and then you just spoon this right over this. Is it too hot to eat? Uh, well, we'll find out. It just, it smells great. This is, this is the solution for all your um, cherry tomato needs, okay? Oh, hot. <laughs> hot. It's really good. It still has the freshness of like a just picked tomato, but it has this kind of juicy sweetness, a little roasty flavor. And the holy pasta is really good with this, I think. It kind of adds a different feel than regular pasta. And the garlic and the basil on this is just yum. That's a little too hot to eat, I think. All right. We're going to post this recipe on our site. If you guys have some suggestions for what to do with cherry tomatoes, we'd love to hear from you on the site, gardenfork.tv. If uh, you like what you see here, you can click the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube or iTunes or something. If you're on our site, you can click on the button, sign up for our email newsletter, leave comments below, and uh, just enjoy your day, all right? And your garden. Yeah. Garden's good. See you later. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.